Hi guys! Welcome back to my channel. As you can see from the title, today's video is going to be a luxury collective haul. So let's get into this. All right, guys, so today is literally a collective haul. Um, luxury items that I have gotten throughout the pandemic. Your girl kind of went crazy on the luxury shopping throughout the pandemic. Um, <laughs> So it is what it is. Um, one disclaimer that I do want to mention is that some of you may not agree with buying luxury items and that is perfectly fine. Um, I don't feel that you have to be for or against luxury. Um, there are different price points here, several di different companies. Some of you may not support some of these companies. That's fine too. Everyone has their idea of how they want to spend their money and what they consider luxury, okay? So with that being said, let's go ahead and jump into some of the smaller things because I don't want them to get crushed. Okay, so this first item um, was actually a gift to me. It's a Jaquemis bag. I have liked these for a really long time, but it just wasn't on my radar to get one. Um, and I got one gift as a gift. So it is perfect. I love the color. And I know you guys are like, that is so impractical. Well, that's kind of the point, you know? Um, they do sell these in a slightly larger size, but this is like a nice little like suede. It says the Jock Chemist here. It does have the strap if you want to carry it. Listen, it doesn't even carry the phone, but you can fit cards. Oh, look, y'all, I have in here a gift card that I'm sure I was looking for. <clears throat> a dollar and some hand sanitizer so last time I wore this I was on vacation so I didn't and I was all in, at an all-inclusive resort so on vacation in an all-inclusive resort I didn't need much but hand sanitizer and a couple of dollars to tip people because all the food drinks everything were included so yeah, <laughs> that's literally what I was gonna say. I was gonna say this is a perfect like date night purse when you don't need much with you. Maybe your lipsticks are freshen up, um, a little bit of hand sanitizer, a couple of dollars for some tips, maybe credit card driver's license, boom. Pop it in here and go. I love this little bag. I love this color. Um, I would. De I definitely also want to get the one that's a little bit bigger than this, but I would still stay petite with these because they do petite so well. So yeah, if you have ever wondered what you could do with those little bags, that's what it's for. It's basically when you want your outfit to be the main event. And I will post a picture of me on vacation with this bag so you guys can see, but I don't think I have worn it since then. On to the next one we see here in the precious Louis Vuitton box. This is a wallet. Now I am actually on the lookout for a different Louis Vuitton wallet that I want. I still love this one and I'm going to use this one all the time, but um, there is another wallet that I have my eye out on. So this is the little, it's not a card holder, it is an actual wallet. Um, despite the fact that it is small, it packs a punch, it holds a lot of stuff. I got the one that's like raspberry on the inside. So it has a zipper in the front where you can like put coins and things of that nature and it holds, well it has a slot here, a big opening here, a slot here, <clears throat> excuse me, and then another slot in the very, very back. So I have gotten like 
eight cards in here before with cash and coins. So, like I said, it expands a little bit. This little baby packs a punch. This is a good wallet to start out with as far as Louis Vuitton is concerned to see how you do as far as like keeping up with it, not losing it from purse to purse. Um, but yeah, I use this wallet a ton. A ton, a ton. And it never gives me any issues. Okay, so that is that one. All right, and now, there is a lot of discussion on whether or not if Coach is considered designer or luxury. So, to better explain, designer just means that it is a designer item, like um, Michael Kors or Kate Spade, that is designer. Luxury, they say, is like Gucci, Prada, Louis, things like that. Um, Coach, for years, have, they have been saying was luxury, and then it fell down to designer, and then it was luxury, and then it fell down to designer. My opinion is that Coach is luxury. Affordable luxury. Fight me, okay? Coach has a store, prime location on Rodeo. To me, that makes you luxury, okay? If I'm if I'm next to Gucci across the street from Louis, I'm luxury. I can afford rent on Rodea, I'm luxury. Not to mention, it's just been around for a long time, and to me, it's never fallen off. It's always been that girl. It's always, they always come with something new that you want, and that was the case this time. They collabed with Disney. You guys know how I love Disney. Only got one item, though. I got this shirt. Okay, I have not worn it yet. Um, let's see, it's crafted in organic cotton. Do, do, do. Um, commitment to rethink, blah, blah, blah. they're talking about how they're better for the planet and all this other kind of stuff. But um, this is a signature Mickey Mouse tee and it is in a uh, extra, extra large. And I tried it on, it fits good, it's extremely soft. Haven't really figured out how I want to wear it, but I had to have it just because I love Mickey Mouse. Like, it had to be done. And it's in their signature print too, so it was just like classic. So yeah, if you guys wanna see how I plan on styling this Mickey Mouse shirt, make sure that you follow me on Instagram. More to come. I do have to say this took forever to come. I, If you watch my vlog, you already know the saga of this shirt. And you're like, is that the shirt? Yes, boo, this is the shirt. I ordered it in March and I did not get confirmation that it was shipping until May. And it didn't actually come until like May 20th or something like that. So it was like three months and yeah, so. Do we wanna do shoes? Let's just do shoes, okay? So um, let's start with these. These are the Dior. Let's have a little Dior moment. I love the Dior slides, but the issue is is that I have a wide foot. So I didn't want to force my foot into some slides that would be uncomfortable or cause them to um, strain or pull <clears throat> in a way that would make the shoe wear quickly. So I was at Nordstrom's and I was just looking around, no intent to buy whatsoever. And I came across I came across these Dior slides. Now they are similar to all the other Dior slides except for instead of having that wood bottom, it's still a rubber bottom. And this part that says Christian Dior, this is actually adjustable. So you can make it wider to fit a wider foot. And child, that's all your girl needed to see. I have been craving and wanting these for so long and the fact that they just were not made for wide feet is why I never got them. So the fact that they sold adjustable ones, win, freaking win. They still sell these. I believe these are gonna be a staple. It wasn't like a limited time thing. They come in like a black and brown pattern and they come in like a, the black and brown, I think don't even say Christian Dior, 
but they're like a, a giraffe print and then they have another one that's like gray and black and it has the Christian Dior. So if you've been looking for these sandals but you were concerned that they weren't gonna fit your feet if you have wider feet or if you just like adjustable sandals, these are gonna be the ones. I've worn these multiple times. The fact that they're super, super flat doesn't bother me. Um, these are in a 40. So just so you know. Go get them, girl. Go get them. I'm telling you, treat yourself. Those have to be one of my favorite buys as far as designer shoes because sometimes designer shoes can be hit or miss, as we will see. Next shoe. Oh. Okay. So, let's go back to the land of Gucci. I know how some of you feel about Gucci. Um, they did have a issue during quarantine um, where people felt that they had uploaded pictures of something insensitive and they addressed it immediately. Um, it was something that they had designed. It was, if I'm not, please correct me if I'm wrong, it was a sweater. And when you pull the sweater up over your mouth, it was lips. And they were larger lips in like a black face. And people felt like they were doing blackface. So immediately they issued an apology. They then hired, I believe, Dapper Dan, if you guys have never heard of him, to assist them with um, being a head designer for Gucci, a black man. And so that they wouldn't, you know, make any mistakes or do anything insensitive. So in my opinion, whether it was genuine or not, is not for me to determine because true colors will always show. But the fact that they went to that far extent just to be like, look, we know where our money comes from. We know that black people roll with Gucci. So we're not gonna ever deliberately offend you guys. That's kind of how they said it. And I'm like, hey, let's keep it real because you know your girl, number one Gucci fan over here. I love Gucci. I love the gaudiness of it. So um, it was hard, but I wasn't gonna roll with Gucci until they started actively doing all those things to make up for what they had done. And I'm like, hey, it's so many designers out there who do stuff, don't even address it and be like, it is what it is, you gonna buy or not. So, I was on Rodeo Drive, and again, no intents to buy, just looking. That's always how it happens. When I go to Rodeo literally to shop, I see nothing that I want. When I go just to go for the experience and for the aesthetic, I see stuff. So, <clears throat> let's talk. Each shoe comes individually wrapped in the box. You get your little verification card your little booklets the whole nine um, I do love the new print for Gucci the new um, the new green like um, vintage thing they're going for it used to be black and white which I was a fan of but I'm really liking this green and brown child who don't love a good dad sandal okay these are so freaking cute In case you did not know, majority of the time, your girl's foot is in the middle of a good, clean dad sandal. Okay? I want these in every company that makes them. Okay? So, <laughs> I say that to say, these only came in men. They did not give the girls this opportunity for the dad sandal. So, I got it in men. A seven, I think. That's what it says on the bottom here. Um, I guess in men, they don't size them the same way. I don't know. But these shoes are really, really stiff. They're really, really stiff. I'm, I'm guessing because of the canvas and the leather bound here. But it locks your foot in. They're really, really stiff. They don't move a lot. I know over time wearing them, they would loosen up. The other thing is that the shoe is heavy. This right here. It's heavy. These are not shoes that you're going to go to the mall in. These are not shoes that you're going to be like. These are literally like sitting pretty. They're not uncomfortable. They're just not. You don't want the dark toe stain on them. You don't want. I, I, I don't know. I just feel like these are a moment. Like, okay, I'm going out. I'm wearing brown. Let me throw on my little Gucci slides. But 
I wanted them to be literally like almost like everyday shoes. I know that sounds weird, but I wanted to be like, oh, I don't know what shoes I want to wear and I'm wearing neutral colors, let me throw these on. Wouldn't do that with these. The Dior ones, absolutely. I would wear them any and anywhere, but these, I have to really think like, Amber, where are you going? Are you gonna need to move your foot quickly? Like, I have to ask myself questions. Do I regret buying them? No, I don't. But it just sucks because sometimes with luxury stuff, because of the coloring or because of the style, you can't wear it as much as you want to. I don't get as much use out of them as I thought I would, <clears throat> especially considering I love dad's handles. I thought these would be the most used and abused shoes in my closet and they're just not. Um, I do have um, some Givenchy slides that are the same way. Um, I like them, but they are very restrictive on my foot. I also have a pair of Fendi slides that I like that are very comfortable. They are also heavy and also very restrictive on my foot. So my experience has been with the slides with the exception of like the really, really thin Gucci slides. Um, that they're not as comfortable as you would think, as you would imagine. Again, with the exception of the Dior, which is why they're my favorite. But you can't beat the pattern and the style of this dad sandal, so um, that's why I don't regret it because it's so unique, you know? If you guys remember, <sighs> a while back, probably almost two years at this point, like a year and a half, I did a luxury wish list, a virtual shopping spree, and I listed all the things that I wanted if I had unlimited money and could just go shop and just blow racks what I would get. And um, I mentioned some Balenciaga tennis shoes that I wanted. I had the black like sock slipper ones, which are extremely comfortable. And I wanted to get the lime green ones because I liked how bright the color was and I liked how comfortable the shoes were. So I actually went to Balenciaga inside uh, South Coast Plaza. Um, and I was literally going to get those shoes and I saw some other ones. So I don't even want those anymore. Like, I don't even want them anymore. So we're gonna go to these bad boys here. <clears throat> now, these are my Balenciaga trainers in lavender. I even switched up the color, people. I don't know, these just spoke to me and I was like, Amber, why have multiple of the same shoe? Which is not a problem, but I was like, venture out a little bit. So I went ahead and I got these. These are so comfortable. Super, super, super comfortable. Um, and they just, now what I can say is, if you have super skinny ankles, these are gonna kinda look weird on you. I hate to say that, but it's true. Um, when you have a bigger legs, thicker legs, these actually make your legs look smaller. So this is one that you definitely need to go into the store and actually try on and see how you like it because it's a very clunky shoe. But it is one of my favorites. And all through it, it all this is like air and holes and mesh and pockets. All right. Because you know somebody going to be like, she ain't even got both shoes. She, she did after pay and got one shoe at a time. Let me just show both. And surprisingly, guys, I have only worn this shoe once. Yep. Only once because, and it's not, it's not the shoe's fault. I'm just very much a, um, I love tennis shoes. I buy a lot of tennis shoes. I buy a lot of Jordans. I mean, I, like I said a billion times, one day I'm gonna have to do a tennis shoe like collection video for you guys because I got I got some I got some good tennis shoes. But um, 
I don't know. I'm just kind of in this season of flats. Ever since like the quarantine, I just really just been in a lot of like slip in shoes. Shoes that I can just take off at the door, walk into whoever's house I'm in and slip back on when it's time to go. That's really the main reason that I haven't really been wearing a lot of shoes that I have to like take off, lace up and stuff like that. But as we're getting, you know, more, the numbers are getting lower and stuff like that. And we're finding out more things about how you actually pass it. I will start dipping back into my tennis shoes. And that is all we have for shoes. I believe we're down to the last two items. Before I show the last two items, I do want to mention that um, I did, I do have some items on their way. And one item that I could not find, and I did purchase an MCM bag. Um, I believe I have a picture of myself in it. I hope I do. If not, it, I'll find a picture of it on the internet or whatever. But um, I love that bag. I have the mini. I bought it pre-loved, and it was perfectly fine. You would never know that it was pre-loved. But that bag is not in circulation at that size point. So I had no choice but to get it pre-loved. And I specifically wanted the black and the white one in that size. I love that bag. I traveled with it. I took it to Cabo. I hope it, I know I didn't leave it because it literally was like my airplane bag. I would not have come home without it. But I, swat, I switched purses either here, my mom's, my sister's somewhere. And that's where that bag is. So it's in good hands. But love 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 that bag highly recommend it the mcm bags are nice the, the straps are really really long so if you're bigger a lot of times you have problems with the backpack being right up on your neck not the case with that mini so you know with the larger backpacks it would be good it would be copacetic um i used to have a louis vuitton backpack absolutely no idea where it went pretty sure somebody took it i had it years ago um and I wanted a new designer backpack and opted for the MCM. So um, yeah, definitely get that. Then I also just recently ordered a Brandon Blackwood bag. I had never heard of him, I'm gonna be honest. We were, I was having a discussion with my good friend and we were talking about Tef Teflar and I said, you know, I wanna support them, I wanna get a bag, but every time I try to get a bag, they don't have one or you gotta pre-order and all this craziness. And I said, even though the bag's not my style, I would still do it just to support a black um, designer luxury, right? So my friend was like, have you heard of Brandon Blackwood? And I was like, no, and she showed me her bag. Stunning, stunning, like, wow. The quality, the quality of the bag. Now I have to admit, some of these designers, you will get their bags and you will see flaws. And either you're gonna deal with the flaw or you're gonna swap the bag. But at that price point, I feel like there should be no flaws, right? This, these bags are so well put together. They are definitely luxury, but affordable luxury. So I ordered the bag and it is going to come. I just didn't want to hold up the video for another item because I held up the video for the, um, for the Mickey Mouse shirt. So that'll be coming soon. I'll probably do a reel. So again, follow me on Instagram. I'll probably do an unboxing reel there. And of course, I'll show it in my vlog. So make sure you are subscribed and post notifications are on. That is enough of my plugs. Let's go to the last two and most exciting. All right, so we said that I was a Gucci girl. There's no point in hiding it. I'm a Gucci girl. So I got a gift from Gucci for my birthday. If you watch my birthday vlog, you've already seen it. But let me give you some details on this bag. So, I wanna say, back in World War II, um, we, designers had to get creative because a lot of materials were needed for the army. So, Gucci, if I'm not mistaken, this is, it was one of these wars, Gucci decided to make bags with bamboo handles because it would help save on materials. What ended up happening is the bamboo handles ended up being so sturdy, such a good idea, such a look, such a vibe that people didn't even feel like they were compromising on their luxury by having the bamboo handles. Um, with that being said, they re-released their bamboo handle bags and I got one for my birthday. 
This is a beautiful rich green color. It also comes in black if I'm not mistaken. It comes a size bigger but to me this size is perfect. Um, these belts are actually removable. You could take them off and just have just the plain green bag with the handles. I like the lime um, yellowish green because I think it gives the bag a little something different, a little something extra. And it also comes with straps. I never use my straps. I always can carry it with the bamboo handles. But if you wanted to do crossbody or if you wanted to do a shoulder bag, you have the handles to do that. Some people actually clip them on and just let them hang. I just leave them in the box because I, I, I don't carry my bag that way. But that's one of the good things. I like when bags come with straps and all that other kind of stuff because then you can kind of just customize it for the way that you want. But yes, this is my favorite bag. I can honestly tell you, there are a lot of things that I may sell, get rid of. This is something that I would never sell, never get rid of. This bag is me, okay? This bag is me in a nutshell. It is literal perfection literal perfection i i you guys have no no idea how much i love this bag okay so onwards and upwards to the last thing the last and final thing again going back to my luxury shopping wish list i said that i wanted a chanel classic flap jumbo bag um i don't know if i specified what what material i wanted um originally i was looking to get caviar because caviar is what everybody was saying like oh get caviar it's so durable it's the best but actually i prefer lambskin and for those of you who do not know, lambskin is the more buttery, soft version, and caviar is the one is the one that's more textured. Lambskin is the one that's more like buttery, soft, and smooth. Originally, I wanted the caviar because I was told that it was more durable. But in looking, the lamb the lambskin was just more luxurious. So your girl pulled the trigger. I did not do like an unboxing or anything because to be honest with you guys, I kind of got in my head and I was like, you know what? There's people out there struggling. There's people out there who are having trouble paying their bills, you know, not working. I'm not about to flaunt the fact that I have a bag that costs more than most cars, okay? So <laughs> I'm like, I'm not. I'm just gonna keep it to myself if somebody sees me in a video wearing it, that's one thing, but I wasn't gonna say anything. But then I thought to myself, Amber, you had this on a wish list two years ago. You didn't even foresee being able to afford this bag, pre-loved or fresh out the box. So the fact that you were able to to save and to do all that and to actually get this bag like you should be proud of yourself it is not even about a flex or why does she spend her money on that it's just about setting a goal doing what you need to achieve it no matter how small or how big it is and also the fact that this bag has doubled in value since i bought it it is literally floating real estate so at the time that I filmed that video, you could get a jumbo for about 6,700. Now a jumbo is as much as a Birkin, okay? Now a jumbo is like, I wanna say 8,700 or something, something ridiculous like that. I got mine pre-loved, um, one, because I found a really good deal, and two, because I did a ton of research. I joined Chanel um, groups on Facebook. I watch videos on Chanel handbags. And I personally, and this is no dick to anyone else, came to the conclusion that I liked the 
2014, 2016, 2017 um, release of the color bag that I got and um, the quality from that era. I saw that a lot of people who got newer versions had some quality issues and that could have just been the bag that they got. But like I said, I ran into a really, really good deal. So I took it. I got it on Fashion File. It was completely verified and confirmed. Um, this is just all the books that it comes with. It comes with, um, I've never even opened this actually. Um, another dust bag over like your, your paperwork. So it's like certified. Um, this is a, from a year that has an authentic, authenticity card. The newer ones no longer come with the card. They have a chip inside. Um, so just keep that in mind when you get a Chanel bag and this is for anyone who is interested always check the serial number um, the serial numbers to correspond to the year that the bag was released and based on when the bag was released the bag will have certain features um, and it's it gets really detailed because there are a lot of really good dupes out there you do not want to pay six seven eight thousand dollars for a bag that's not real if you're going to get a fake Chanel, you want to spend like $100. You don't want to spend that kind of money and find out your bag's not real. So this is the red jumbo, the exact one that I said that I wanted. The hardware is ruthenium. Um, I didn't want to get gold because I didn't want to date the bag. I didn't want to get silver because I'm not really a silver girl. So when I saw that they came in the ruthenium, I was like, that's actually pretty perfect for me. So as you can see, it is the smooth. And a lot of people are like, oh my gosh, I would never get lambskin. You have to be so careful. I don't baby my bags. I don't. I'm careful with all of my stuff, whether cheap or expensive, but I don't baby my bags. They're for me to enjoy. So, um, as you can see, jumbos are pretty big. They're pretty big. Um, and a lot of people are like, oh, I'm too small for a jumbo. Child, no. Um, I'm actually going to try to get a maxi. Maxis are ridiculously big. But ironically enough, they don't have such a high resale value. At this point, I could sell this bag and I could get probably about $2,000 over what I paid for it. Um, with the maxi, you actually probably just break even, um, which is actually good when it comes to um, luxury bags. Some you actually, most of them you actually lose money, but there are certain brands, and I can do a whole video on that, where when you buy, you actually, the value actually goes up. Chanel, Hermes, bags like that, okay? So yeah, this is my baby. I love her. She is perfect. She is flawless. Okay, she came to me looking like a brand new bag. Not a single freaking flaw. Whoever had this bag bought it, never used it, kept it in the closet, okay? Unfreaking touched. It has the authenticity card. And the story behind the double flap, which is what this is, double flap meaning this flap and then this flap, that's not on all bags, is that Chanel, Coco Chanel herself, used to tuck love letters in this part of her purse to hide them. So it's just like a, it's like a Chanel lover's dream to have a, a double flap, classic flap bag. So I had to make sure I had the double flaps because I wanted that part of history. And another part of history with my bag, Again, you if you're into this stuff, you're into this stuff. If you're not, you're not. Another part of history is that I have this desk cover, which they have recently, they've recently changed. They recently changed the desk cover, so. And I think they even took the Coco Chanel off, so. Uh, but yeah, just practicality wise, with the jumbo, your phone actually fits in this slot right here without distorting the bag. Um, they do have like things you could buy on Amazon that you could put the chain in and it'll keep the chain from touching this part. You do have to be careful with how you store this bag because it is lambskin. It is literally impressionable if you push down on it. So you wanna make sure that when you store it, the chain is not up against the bag or you will have like 
a slight indention from the chain. So yeah, the bag is like, it's sensitive, but it's 100% leather and it's not treated or any well it's treated but it's not texturized for durability or anything so that is the last thing that i want to show you guys in the collective haul um this is my by far my favorite piece so i figured i would save it for last some of you saw it in a video where I was going to brunch and I had it on and one of you DM'd me and was like, oh my gosh, you got it. <laughs> and I was like, yeah. But I never said anything on my vlog. I never mentioned that I got it. I never like actually showed it. You briefly see it in a reel. But the girl got her bag. The girl got her bag. So yeah. Um, Comment down below what was your favorite piece. If you plan on getting any luxury items, comment if you guys want more of these. Um, these are just recent buys. It's not my entire collection. If you guys want to see more items from my collection or if you're interested in that tennis shoe haul that I was talking about, let me know that too. But that is all I have for you guys today. And as always, love ya, mean it, bye. Deuces. That's how we follow. That's how we follow. That's how we follow. That's how we follow.